My name is Adam Ferreira. We're here at Parkside Student Residence. We're just going to wait for a minute or two for all our other friends to join in and join us for this amazing tour to see what Parkside is about and why you are going to love living here. So we're going to take about a minute or two. In the meantime, how's the weather doing over there? Use an emoji in the comment section. You could use a beach, you could use the sun, you could use the moon. Let us know what it's like over there, starting now. Do we have any emojis, Sam? We have some hot air balloons, Okay. some hearts. Now who thinks I should get a haircut if you think I should get a haircut, use the scissor emoji now. <laughs> Try. Chop, chop, chop. Got chop. lots of hearts. Lots of hearts? <laughs> How right. are we looking, Sam? Are we ready to begin or should yeah, we continue? We're at 9 a.m. right on the dot. 9 a.m.? Okay, so. let's give it about 10, 20 more seconds. While we're waiting, we can give you a little sneak peek of the games lounge. Pool table. Couple of different gaming consoles, foosball. And back to ping pong and Adam. Yes, it is free. So it's all included. All right, let me know when we're ready to begin, Sam. I think we're ready to roll. All right. Welcome, everybody, to an episode of Parkside's Tour, special edition with you, Holmes. I'm your host, Adam, and we have our director of photography, Samantha Price. Feel free to ask us any questions along the way. Parkside Student Residence is Toronto's number one student housing for students from across the world. I, myself, am from abroad. I'm from India and Hong Kong. I've grown up in both countries. Samantha is domestic. She's grown up in Canada. So we bring the best of both worlds in terms of knowledge, friendship, and experience. So we're going to show you what this building is all about today. We're going to start off over here in the games lounge, make our way through the lobby, head to the second floor, and tell you how your life is going to be amazing over here. We'll go down to the cafeteria to see where you can get some food in your system and then see what a bedroom looks like. So let's get started. Parkside Student Residence is 10 minutes away, 20 minutes away actually from most of the university and colleges in Toronto. Ryerson University, University of Toronto, George Brown College, OCAD University, Toronto Film School, Toronto School of Management, and more. We're located 20 minutes away also from our famous sports teams, the Toronto Raptors, NBA basketball, the Toronto Maple Leafs, hockey, and Toronto FC. That is football slash soccer. So now let's begin in our games lounge. This games lounge is open from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. You can have amazing times with your friends from this bowling, from foosball over here. If you play foosball, I challenge you. I will win every time. Maybe not every time. We've got billiards and pool over here. We've got a ping pong station. And then I'd like to also show you our special made console. That's an Xbox on one side and a PlayStation on the other side. We have this inbuilt system and we have another one where you can take it to your room and play with your friends. Whether it's FIFA, whether it's NBA, whether it's Call of Duty Warzone. If you play Warzone, you will not stand a chance against me. I promise you that. <laughs> and so on and so forth. When you sign out this equipment. So we just have a couple of questions yeah. popping up. So Games Lounge is located on our lobby level. So it's the main level of the building. Nobody is in the Games Lounge right now because it is 9 a.m. here in Toronto and everyone is still sleeping. So very early morning for us. And Adam will let you know how you can sign out some of the equipment. Back to us. For you to sign out your equipment, we would require you to drop off a piece of ID to our service desk, which I will show you in a minute. 
You come collect, you play for a couple of hours. Once you're done, you take the equipment back to the service desk and they'll give your ID back. So it's as simple as that. We can move forward. <laughs> Any questions in the meantime? So far, nothing yet. We've kind of covered it all. Welcome to our lobby. This is where students lounge when it comes to studying, relaxing, when they're waiting for friends, when you're waiting for McDonald's at two in the morning. And if you're going to class or dinner out with your friends, you'll just wait here and exit together. You can sit here and study. You can just put your laptop here, plug in your charger, and then just relax. You good? Awesome. Yeah. So this is one of our study spaces. We have lots of different study spaces throughout the building. We'll show you um, lots more throughout the tour. So you'll see more study spaces. And we do have a little marketplace, supermarket, and a cafeteria downstairs, which we're going to head to later on as well. So you guys will see that too. So right now, since it's the morning, we begin cleaning the entire place. So it is fresh for everybody. This is where students wait. If you're going to class in the morning and you're waiting for your friends to come down, you'll just sit here and wait for them. This is a very important aspect. Pay very close attention, especially parents. I know with your son, daughter, niece, nephew moving away or anybody close to you, security is of utmost importance. So we have 24-7 security over here. No one can enter this building without an access card, which you would have. You're allowed five guests a day, one overnight guest for a maximum of three days. So when that friend comes over for the first time, we'll take a picture of them, we'll take a picture of the ID card, and you have to sign them in and out of this building. Without that, no one is allowed to come or go. It's pretty straightforward. Security likes it that way, we like it that way, and we aim to keep it that way. Before we move forward, Sam, do you have any questions? Um, we had a question, is there computers to use on site? Great question. We do not have any computers on site. However, if you have your own personal laptop or desktop, you can definitely bring it and keep it in your unit. We do have unlimited Wi-Fi that is located through the building, so you should be fine that way. Any other questions, Sam? And another question about printing. Printing. So again, we do not have any printers because everybody has like their own preference of colors and papers. So we advise you to bring your own printer at the end of the day. You could always pick it up at a superstore that could be like 10 minutes away from us, ranging between $40 to about $150. That depends from person to person. Yeah, any and other if, questions? Yeah, so if you don't have a lot of printing needs, your university will also provide you with printing services. So Ryerson, U of T, George Brown, OCAD, all of those um, universities have their own printing shops. So you can go there too. Awesome. Let's see where everything is located in Toronto. So I'm going to show you a map of where Parkside is located and downtown Toronto. Ta-da! All right. So we are over here at Carlton Jarvis. If you are going to Ryerson University, it is a simple five to seven minute walk. You get out of the building and then you take a left on Church or Mutual. So Ryerson is over here. If we go down south, George Brown is over here. There's the College of Makeup, Art and Design. And then we move west, we have OCAD University and we have University of Toronto, and then we have Toronto Film School. So everything is within a 15, 20 minute radius from us. If you love food and you're feeling a little homesick, we do have Chinatown that is there. If you want to try different kinds of cuisines from Italian to Caribbean, you have Kensington Market and Little Italy. And if you love sports, if you love music, our Scotiabank Arena over here hosts the NBA, the NHL, and all the artists like Justin Bieber, Quavo, uh, Swedish House Mafia, Avicii, all these artists, all the big artists play there. And if you love shopping, our Eaton Center is a massive shopping mall that runs between two subway stations. You have all the brands. Sam, do you 
have any brands that you would know that would be there? Oh, anything. There's Gucci, Adidas, Nike. Um, we have Nordstrom's there, so large department stores, all that kind of stuff. So we have a couple of questions about the map. Yeah. Um, so I think someone's asking where the airport is in relation to Parkside. Great question. So the airport is about 40 minutes away from Parkside. The easiest way to get to the airport is if you take the subway from our closest stop, that is College Subway Station, you go down to Union, which is about seven minutes. There is a separate train called the Up Train. That'll take you directly to the airport that's located there. So it'll take you a total of 35 to 40 minutes. If you take an Uber or a taxi, it'll take you there about 40 minutes. So yes, it is in total 40 minutes away from Parkside and Toronto. Yeah, and then one more question um, about parking. Do we have parking in the building? Great question. We do have parking in the building. The only thing is parking is not included in your rent. It is paid on a monthly basis, I believe at $170 plus tax. And then you would just need to let us know about the parking and we can get you in contact with our parking partners. Yeah, and that's underground, so it's below ground. So I think we can head upstairs now and show some more of the building. Awesome. So this was all the lobby. We're gonna to go to our second floor. So everything is easily accessible. Once you get inside the building, you don't need a fob to get around the elevators. The only time you need your access card to enter is the gym, the laundry room, and then some of the floor lounges. So let me just hand sanitize also. Awesome. So we have these hand sanitization stations across the building. Let's check it out. So we do have four elevators. We'll be going in them um, afterwards. So we'll first show you another study room. So this is all located on our second floor. So this can be a group study space as well as an individual study area. And yes, we do have air conditioning. Welcome to the glass box. This is where we host a lot of events. You can come here with friends, relax, watch movies, do group study sessions. As you see, Toronto is our summertime, it's absolutely beautiful outside, and there's so much to do. Now, I'm gonna introduce you to our residence life coordinator, Daniel. He is the person that orchestrates and creates all the fun events and memories that you will have at Parkside. So I wanna introduce you to Daniel Travieso. Hi everyone, welcome to Parkside. As uh, Adam said, my name is Daniel. Uh, my team and I are in charge of the residence life component here at the residence. Things that we do is create a sense of uh, community, so allow you to meet people uh, from all over the world as you come and enjoy our facilities as well. Um, another thing that we do is create um, programs that allow you to grow up both personally and professionally through uh, programs like uh, uh, employability, where you learn how to do your resume and, and do interviewing to uh, financial literacy when you learn how to budget and stuff like that. So our program is well-rounded and our dedicated team of community assistants are here to support you um, and let you explore both the city but also our immense uh, and well-rounded uh, residence life experience. Any questions? No questions so far. Yes, the floor is carpet in here. Yeah. That was a question. Yes, the floor is carpet. Um, but I think we'll send it back to Adam. Thank you so much, Daniel, for letting us know about the Residence Life team. Um, and in this space, in the glass box, is one space that we do a lot of our uh, programming initiatives. Um, so you will have access to this space 24 hours a day. It is free to use for all residents. There's Wi-Fi plugs in this room. Um, so you'll always have access to this space. And we'll come back over to Adam. I've been expecting you. <laughs> Jokes aside. So yes, um, the kind of events that we've done here are karaoke night. So much fun. The podium is right up there. We'll put a screen. Students will be singing. There'll be snacks and drinks. We've done the Toronto Raptors screening when we won the NBA championship last year. It was amazing. Everybody was cheering. 
We've done the casino night where we've had blackjack tables, we've had poker tables, and there were dealers teaching you how to play the game and how to beat your opponent. So these are a few of the events that Daniel's team has put forward. So now let's check out another study space and the gym while we proceed on this tour. Someone's uh, noticing that our favorite color in the building is red, and you would be correct. We have lots of red all over the building. <laughs> so you saw our group study room back there. You saw our glass box, which is the bigger group room. Now you have the quiet study space. This is when it's exam season. You just want to study by yourself with no one else. So you just walk into the room, place your laptop down, and start studying. You don't have to book the room. You don't have to do anything. You just come in. If you see a spot, start studying. If there is no available space, you can go to one of the other study lounges we have on different floors in this building. Each floor has a different lounge. So now the gym, which the gym. everyone has been waiting to see. So no, unfortunately, we do not have a piano. Let's go inside the gym after you sit. Thank you. Welcome to our gym. This gym is 24-7. It comes with everything from basic free weights to a calisthenic bar to cardio machines. And if you want to refill your water, you can just go to that station over there. You don't have to book your time. You can just come at any time. We do also have an equipment box with all the possible handles. You would just need to give us a piece of ID downstairs. They'll give you the key or they'll come unlock it for you and you can use all the handles for all the rigs. Yes, yeah, so the gym is open 24 hours a day and it is free for all residents to use at any point during the day. And we do have a boxing area. So in this studio here, um, we have a little punching bag, and You'll just have to bring your own gloves. And then we also have a spin studio in this space as well. And then across the hall, we have another studio. Adam will turn on the lights. And this is our yoga studio. So you'll just, we have some mats and some yoga balls. Or you can bring your own mat and you can stretch or do yoga in this space. And again, if you ever get heartbroken, punch a bag. Yours. You can punch a bag. <laughs> Any thoughts, questions? None so far. Awesome. So, so we do have a question, actually. Sorry? So in regards to yoga, um, we don't have a specific yoga teacher that comes in, but I can kind of show you through the glass. These TVs, there's one in this room and one in the yoga studio, and there's virtual uh, yoga teachers on there. Um, so you can, on the iPad below, you can pick a workout class. So there's yoga, spinning, boxing, and then it'll just play on the TV and you can follow along in the gym. There you go. It's called fitness on demand. Now when you get done with the gym, you have to clean your clothes somewhere. We're gonna show you the laundry room. But I know you had a question about elevators. These are the four elevators over here. So whenever you wanna go up, you just hit the button and then it comes and goes. You don't need a key card to access it. And I know some parents are a little old school, mine are, they're not a big fan of messages, so whenever I miss them, I just drop them a postcard, go straight to them, and if you ever get mail, bills, all the boring stuff, it comes here. The fun packages go downstairs. If anything comes from Nike, Amazon, Sephora, it goes downstairs to a service desk. All you have to do is put your address and your room number down. When it reaches us, we will send you an email that, hey, your package has arrived. Can you come downstairs with your passport copy or an ID, show it to us and sign up your package. So it's as simple as one, two, three. I'll show you where that is downstairs, but let's check out the laundry room. So after we check out the laundry room, we will head downstairs to the dining hall. Um, and that's in the uh, basement level. So you take your card, you tap it, voila. 
Welcome to the laundry room, family and friends. Parents must be like, wow, it's so clean and amazing. It is. So it's $2.50 for washing, $1.75 for drying, total of $4.25 for a full load of washing and drying. We will so, give you just to reiterate, two dollars and fifty cents to wash your clothes, and one dollar and seventy-five cents to dry. And Adam will show you how you can pay for the laundry. So when you get your card, you just drop it into this. So you'll get your card, and then you just drop it into that. It loads, it checks, and then you just use your cash, credit, or debit to reload it. It's as simple as that. You'll get a laundry card. Just make sure not to lose the laundry card because it costs $10 to replace. So you'll always have one with you when we give it. And yes, for laundry detergent, we do not provide that. You can pick that up either from the market downstairs if it is not sold out or the supermarket that is down the road from us and a three minute walk. It's called the Loblaw Supermarket on Carlton. So it's a three minute walk, you'll get your laundry detergent, you'll get your cleaning supplies, your toilet paper, your shower stuff, everything from the superstore. It's amazing. Any questions, Sam? So we had a question about an app for laundry. So in our laundry room, we do not have an app that goes with the laundry machines. Um, what we advise residents to do is just set a timer on your phone. Um, as soon as you put your clothes in, it'll give you a time on when your laundry is done. So set a timer on your phone and uh, it'll let you know when your clothes are done. Awesome. Let's check out the dining. So I know like when you study at night, sometimes you can get a little like hungry. So we've got vending machines for drinks over here. And we've got vending machine for snacks over here. Yes, you will have to pay for it. Every item has a different price. There is an app for it called a pay range, so you can just use that. And then we have washrooms on this floor in case you don't want to go all the way up. And if you have any questions, our cafeteria, our management office is on the right hand side. So we're open from Monday to Friday, nine to five. And yeah, let's make our way downstairs. So now we're heading down to our cafeteria. Uh, no, unfortunately, we do not speak French, so I won't be able to translate into French for you if you speak French. But we're going to go down and see the cafeteria. So this is where you'll receive um, all your food. It's unlimited. You can eat as much as you'd like. And this is where you'll sign out all the equipment, all the packages. So this is where you get your packages. Market. So if you have anything that you want to buy, from snacks to drinks when the cafeteria is closed, you come here, you pay with your credit card or debit card, and you just scan the items you want. So this is excluded from the meal plan. So this is if you want a late night snack, it's 2 o'clock in the morning, and our cafeteria is closed overnight, um, you can always come down here and grab a snack um, if you're hungry. So this is all for purchase and the kiosks to purchase your items are here. Dying. Finally. All right. Welcome to our cafeteria. So when you arrive, you're going to use your card and you're just going to tap over here. Our cafeteria is open from 7 a.m. to 9.30 p.m. on weekdays and weekends from 9.30 a.m. to 8.30 p.m. It's an all-you-can-eat dine-in meal plan, so you won't have to worry about grocery shopping, cooking, cleaning up. So obviously right now people are lining up as the signs indicate. So you'll just stand in your line and you'll just wait and you will have to wear a mask. So I'm just going to pull mine out. So yeah, you got everything from breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You'll just line up, you'll choose from the items that are there. It could range from your super healthy salads and grilled food to 
those important days when you need like really junk food, like fried chicken and stuff like that. We've got a cereal station. We've got a pizza station, a deli counter, a salad counter. We've got a pop station with Coke, Sprite, coffee, teas, juices, all available to you. The main thing is you're coming here to study. We want you to focus on that. So this helps save so much time from grocery shopping, cooking, cleaning up. And we do have a lunch and dinner to go option. That way you don't spend money at school. The lunch to go op option operates from 7 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. You get a special card, you give it to the cafeteria team and they'll give you your lunch to go. If your classes end late, it'll be the dinner to go option. You have to let us know two days in advance by submitting a form with your school schedule. Any questions, Sam, so far? Yes. So um, they'd like to know, um, like, price of the meal plan in comparison to the rent. So how, like, the payment structure is different? Yeah, for sure. So your rent is paid monthly. The meal plan is paid per semester every four months. So you'll pay that once in September, once in January, and once in May. The cost is $2,778.76 plus tax. So again, it's $2,778.76 plus tax, which you pay every four months for all you can eat buffet. So you can eat as much as you'd like. You can come down as much as you want, get as much food as you want. There's no limit. You can keep eating until you're sick, but don't do that. <laughs> Um, and then we also had a question, is there Chinese food? Yes, we do accommodate that. We accommodate cuisines from across the world. Again, Parkside is a multicultural building. So they do Chinese food, they do Caribbean food, they do Indian food. And again, we do celebrate the festival, especially Chinese New Year, where it'll not only be Chinese food, but they'll decorate it in a Chinese fashion. And we love red, so there's always lots of red. We also recommend bringing your grandmother's recipe and provide it to our chef where he can help accommodate this. We want to bring your culture to our home because home is Parkside. It's your home. Any other questions, Sam? So just more about like the food in general. So we can um, walk up closer to right now where the food is being served. So um, right now, our um, serving structure is a bit differently. Um, so normally, this entire area would be open for you to walk around. However, currently, um, it is limited to a service station. So you would walk up to the counter here. And then on the chalkboard behind Adam, um, you have what your meal looks like. So this is the breakfast menu for this morning. So you can pick between the pork bacon option, the turkey bacon option, the vegetarian option. Um, and then we do serve, um, as you can see on the side here, halal, vegan, gluten-free, and anything else, um, any other dietary restrictions you have. Um, so you can just ask the cafeteria staff what you would like. And then we have other options like muffins, cereals, yogurts. Again, this is what the breakfast spread would look like. And then normal, under normal circumstances, you would have access inside this area back here. So this is more of a buffet style. And then there's a drink station around the corner. Um, but however, right now it is a pickup service. So that's what our cafeteria looks like currently. Again, it's all you can eat. So you can come down and eat as much as you'd like. Um, and we love to do specialty dinners. And we love to hear student feedback. So if there is any type of cuisine that you would like to see featured in the cafeteria, um, you can speak to our chef. And he is more than willing to accommodate that. I also like to stress on dietary restrictions. We know everybody is different at the end of the day. If you do have a dietary restriction, let our cafeteria team know because they want to help accommodate your restrictions. We want you to have an amazing time at Parkside, be it experience, be it food. And that was for the dining. If you do have friends that come to dine in, this is how much they would be paying plus tax. 
So we are going to head up into an elevator. So we may lose some internet connectivity. So we will be back. So we're going to head into an elevator. We're going to head up to one of our floors to show you one of the units. Do not disconnect. And then we will be back. Do so not disconnect. We'll stay on, but we may lose connection. So there is no fob required. You just press the button and we go up. Is my Superman pose still holding? It says we're still connected, so. Great. I can see you in all your glory. Great. Da 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 da. Floor six. Sixth floor. Are we still good? Is the connection still there? So we'll give it like 30 seconds to kind of reconnect in case we've lost anybody awesome but it looks pretty good i think we're all set welcome to the sixth floor we're going to be showing you what a two bedroom one bathroom floor plan is and help you envision what it can look like so let's check it out each floor has a different color scheme this one is a yellow color scheme so let's check out 601 so you'll have your key card You'll just swipe it through, sorry, wrong side. Just like a hotel. And then you're inside. So all the furniture you see in the room is provided to you for free. So you're welcome to use the furniture during your stay. Um, so this is what the room would look like when you check in. So you each, you and your roommate would each have your own bedroom. So one bedroom on the left and one bedroom on the right, and each of the doors do lock. So we will give you a key and you can lock your bedroom door um, when you're not home. The windows do come with blinds, so you can pull the blinds down if you'd like some shade, and the windows do open, so you can get some fresh air. And we do have air conditioning, air conditioning and heat in the rooms that you and your roommate can control with your very own thermostat. I'd also like to address that in Toronto, a lot of apartments and condos charge you for electricity, water, Wi-Fi. These are all additional expenses at Parkside. All of that's included, all your electricity, all your water, all your Wi-Fi. And I say this because I used to game a lot. I still do actually to this day. You have your couch, you have your coffee table, and when you do arrive, you need somewhere to store your stuff. So you have your closets over here. So you have a big enough closet to store your stuff. If you come with a suitcase, you can just store it on top. And then again, your bathroom is over here. You share that with your roommate. We encourage all students to keep their rooms clean. Yes, that would require you to clean, but it's fun because it gives you and your roommate bonding time. My roommate and I used to do it every Saturday at 11 a.m. We'd play music and then just clean up the entire room. And it was the best feeling in the world when it was clean. We do have cleaning services on site, but they are paid cleaning services. So it would be ranging from around $60 to about $150. So yes, it is a paid service. That's why we recommend each student to keep their units clean. And we do also have a roommate matching process that just ended called Please Don't Snore, where students had the option to choose their own roommates based on likes, dislikes, programs of study, country of origin. So you got to talk to other people on the same floor plan and see if you got along with well. Any questions so far, Sam? Um, so, question about roommate uh, matching. Is yes. it a uh, mixed gender or same gender? Same gender. For a mixed gender, you would need to inform the office and both parties would have to give us something called a co-ed agreement, which means a male and a female would have to like list that, that they want to be roommates and then just give that to us and we would approve that. So by default, it's same gender. So when you're, if you're applying by yourself, we will match you uh, with someone of the same gender. Next question. Any other questions? 
can you choose a Canada roommate? So you can, through our roommate matching system, you'll be able to talk with um, other students coming into the building and you'll be able to talk to them before you match with them. So you have full range and uh, availability of anybody signing in the building so you can match with anyone you'd like. And yes, you can live with your friend. You would just need to match with each other on our roommate matching system and then you would be placed together. And then one last question. Um, can couples live together? Yes, couples can live together as long as uh, you sign the co-ed agreement and you both agree to living with each other. Um, and then we had a question about lighting. So lighting in the units. Um, there is one overhead light in the hallway, one in the bathroom, and then in the living rooms and in your bedrooms, there are no lights. So you will need to bring your own light fixtures. So most residents bring a lamp for the corner and you will also need to bring a lamp for your bedroom. And yes, the windows do open. Any other questions? I think that's it. So we are leasing every single day and faster, even though it is everything that's going on. So I would recommend going onto our website, www.live-parkside.ca and fill out your application today. It is located on the top right corner of our website. That way we know you're interested and we can send out an email to you with all the information for this upcoming school year. Because at the end of the day, home is Parkside. That's what we're about. Giving you a home away from home. We hope to see you soon. Feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions. We you have can... more questions. Yep. So about the doors. Yes. yes, both the doors do lock individually. We provide you with a key, a bedroom key, when you check into the building. So you can lock your door and only you will have the key. Um, next question, if you can have friends come over and stay for a couple of nights. Um, yes, you can sign in one guest overnight for a total of three nights in a row. Um, anything longer than three nights, you will have to get approved by the management team. Um, and we just have that in place to limit um, roommate conflict. So as long as you and your roommate are okay with your guests staying more than three nights, then it is okay with us, but you'll just have to let us know. And yes, the windows do open in the window, in the units. The bottom part there slides open. If that's all the questions, is that all the questions then? Yeah, I think that's all the questions we got. Thank you to all our friends from across the world for tuning in to Parkside's live tour today with the U-Homes app. We definitely recommend reaching out to us so we can give you all the information. When we do schedule our next tour, you will find out from the U Homes team. Till then, take care, stay safe. Home is Parkside. Bye. Bye.